Welcome back. Uh, last time we talked about creating those tables where we create the the student. This is the database we're using. The student, the uh, subject, and the registration tables. Uh, this time we want to do. We want to actually add the and add the the constraints to the registration table. Uh, and show some of the problems that we can run when we do that here in the management. So let's let's press this plus button here on registration table, and let's come here to keys and press with the right button. We're gonna see there new foreign key. Let's do that. So with the new foreign key is actually added here already. Uh, what we want to do now is come here in general and then we see tables and columns specifications press that in fact you don't really need to press that if you just come here to this button right in front of it uh, you're gonna see there telling you the relationship name what is the registrate uh, what is the, the primary key of the table I'm taking uh, so the table is student the first one and I want uh, the student ID that's the primary key of the table student that I want it to be a foreign key for the registration. So let's put here the student ID. So I have finished that one. Now I want to add another relationship, which will be to get the subject ID now. So if I come back here again, I'm gonna have now subject and subject ID right here. And here I want a subject ID as well. So the foreign key table is the registration. The primary key table is the subject that has the subject ID as the primary key. And the foreign key is the subject ID in the registration. So here you go. Okay. So I don't need to add any other relation. Let's close it. And let's see one thing here. We can actually see the not here, not here. Database diagrams. Now that I have all the tables, let me make sure that it's saved. I'm hoping it will. Okay. Here you go. Now that I, I, I have those tables, I can actually get a database diagram. If I do yes right here, it's going to show me all the, the, the tables that I already have, which will be registration, student, and subject. Oh, it didn't show. Uh, press with your, uh, just right click it and put new database diagram. Uh, and then you're going to see the registration, student, and subject. I want to add all of them at this time and see their relationship that I just created. So if I add registration, a student, and subject, close it, it's going to be show me this diagram, this UML diagram where I have the student uh, having a foreign key. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, the registration having a foreign key that references the student and also the subject being referenced by the registration as a foreign key. Okay, that's all good here for, so far. But let's say that in a given time, I kind of decided that I want to add something else in, in my tables. I want to add something here for this one. Let's say that I want to, for registration ID, I want to add a date. Add a date. It will be a date time and that. Okay, I added here. But if I try to save it, look what error I have. I have an error saying saving changes is not permitted because the changes you have made require the following tables should be dropped and recreated. You have made you have either made changes to a table that can't be recreated or enabled the option prevent saving changes that require the table to be recreated. At this point, I don't really know where that is. How where was those options? Maybe the configuration. Uh, I have heard that sometimes it could be an administration thing. So this is the type of problem that kind of can mess us up our work. Because now if I want to, if I have to drop all the tables and then recreate again, and then get all the the foreign key, the identity, incrementation, all that, that's going to take me time. And right now I just did for two, for three tables. What if I had like 15 tables? And I discovered I had to change something. So that could be a, a problem. So the solution I found for that 
um, and it's actually a good way of practicing how to use SQL is to create a script on my own where I create all those tables, where I create all the, the, the constraints and everything, and then I just run it. And if I have to drop it, that will drop it for me and create at the same time. So that's what I did. And if you're not familiar with that, uh, there is a tutorial on SQL Server where you can actually see the basic things in DML, DDL, and uh, DQL, and how you can use those. And I recommend you to do that. Uh, that is going to be that that is being taught in in the command line, which is the best place to learn those type of things. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to open here my Notepad plus plus and get the script that I already have, so we don't lose too much time. I'm going to explain a little bit about that. Okay, let me come here. Cool. Okay, this is what I have. And that's what I'm gonna put there. But before I do that, let me actually drop all the tables here in, in the management. I'm just gonna drop them all. And notice this, if I try to drop from here, like start from the subject, I'm gonna have an error. It's gonna say that this, this guy already, it's been referenced. Like see, drop failed to table. It's saying that it's just been referenced by another table and it can't be dropped. And the, 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 the table that is referenced, the registration. So what I have to do is drop registration first. Here he goes. Let's delete that. Now I can delete subject. I can also delete student. So I don't have any other of those tables anymore. They are gone. Uh, this here, this diagram also will disappear. Oh, I don't want to save that. I'm just close that. Just refresh that. No tables. If I do a, uh, if I try that, let's see what happens. Okay, it tells me you give me an error saying that I don't have that, so I can't really do anything. Uh, but we're gonna be creating then this tables using a script. So if I come here to to school uh, and I do a new query. I'm going to have a new window here. And what I want to do is, I'm just grab this part here, this create table student. And also, I want to talk a little bit about the errors that we can have here when you're creating that, which is important. So, I'm going to create, let me put that one in here. Control V. Now, I'm, I'm copying and putting the, in the, in management studio but it's I mean make sure that you have one of the one file with the script in one folder in case you need in the future uh, and I already have this file here so yeah just make sure you would have that as well um, let me see here registration I want to I don't want to get this uh, constraints right now so I'm just gonna come until here and I'll make some changes since I'm not making a table for status or for grade. I'm gonna make this to be a var char. Var char. Not sure which one. What we specified before. I think it was. Oh, it was two because it's a grade. So I'm just gonna put here grade. The status ID is not gonna be. It's just gonna be a var char of one. Var char of one. And that cannot be null. Everybody. Everything else. Oh, just the grade can actually be now. Let me close the parentheses here. Okay, so if I run that now, what's going to happen is I'm going to be creating those tables. So let's try. Just come here to the execute button and do that. Let's see. Okay, I didn't have any problems. If I come here to tables, I can't see anything yet. Let me refresh it. There you go. Here they are again. If I come here to design, look what I'm going to see. The same thing that I have created before. They're all good. I can also come come here to database diagram, put a new database diagram, and add those guys. Now, okay, it's just not showing me the constraints because I didn't put the constraints, and that's the thing that we're gonna be doing next. So, yeah, next tutorial we're gonna see how we can add those constraints and how to to avoid some of the problems with those constraints if I want to drop those tables again over and over. All right, hopefully it's coming along okay, and I'll see you next time.